Georgia CDL Double Triple Trailers Test Question 1. You are driving a 100-foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 10 11 9 Answer 10 Question 2. Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. High winds are not a problem for doubles and triples. Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. Answer You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Question 3 which of these is not a good thing to do when driving on slippery roads? Keep other traffic out of your side space. Use a light touch on the accelerator and brake pedals. Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Answer Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Question 4. When driving with more than one trailer, which trailer should be the first one behind the tractor? The heaviest trailer. The shortest trailer. The lightest trailer. Answer. The heaviest trailer. Question 5. You are doing a walk-around inspection of a double or triple trailer rig. You should be sure the converter dolly air tank drain valves are. And the pintle hook is. Closed, latched. Open, free. Open, latched. Answer. Closed, latched. Question 6. How can you be sure you supplied dare to a second trailer? Apply the hand valve at 10 miles per hour. You should stop in the same distance as a truck with one trailer at 5 miles per hour. Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Watch each trailer's air gauge for a drop of 30 pounds per square inch. Answer Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Question 7. Driving a truck with double or triple trailers requires a driver to Do both of these things. Use special care in bad weather and mountain conditions. Allow more following distance than for smaller vehicles. Answer Do both of these things. Question 8. If you want to couple a second trailer to your combination vehicle, secure it by using The trailer spring brakes and emergency air brakes wheel chocks. Either of the above, if available. Answer. Either of the above, if available. Question 9. You should check the height of the trailer before connecting a converter dolly to a second of third trailer. The trailer height is right when the trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. The kingpin rests on the fifth wheel. The center of the kingpin lines up with the locking jaws. 
Answer. The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. Question 10. Converter dollies have little braking power because they are small. Often do not have spring brakes. Usually need a glad hand converter. Answer. Often do not have spring brakes. Question 11. You are driving with double trailers and must use your brakes to avoid a crash. For emergency braking you should Push the brake pedal as hard as you can and hold it there. Use only the trailer brakes. Use control door stab braking. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 12. The crack the whip effect that troubles trucks with trailers is most likely to tip over. The rear trailer of a triple. The rear trailer of a double. A full trailer behind a truck. Answer. The rear trailer of a triple. Question 13. What is likely to happen if the pintle hook is unlocked while the dolly is still under the second trailer? Nothing will happen unless the rig rolls forward. The air lines will rupture. The dolly tow bar may fly up. Answer. The dolly tow bar may fly up. Question 14. You are driving a 100-foot twin-trailer combination at 50 miles per hour. The road is dry and the visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 11 9 10 Answer 11 Question 15. You are driving a 100-foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 9 11 10 Answer 10 Question 16. Some large trucks have convex or spot mirrors. These mirrors make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Do not need to be checked as often as flat mirrors because they show a larger area. Are against the law in most states. Answer. Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Question 17. Before you can supply air to the air tanks of a second trailer, you need to Close the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Open the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Answer Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Question 18. The best way to stop all skids is to Use stab or controlled braking Counter stare and accelerate. Restore traction to the tires.
Answer. Restore traction to the tires. Question 19. When driving with more than one trailer, which trailer should be the first one behind the tractor? The lightest trailer. The shortest trailer. The heaviest trailer. Answer. The heaviest trailer. Question 20. You wish to turn right from one two-lane, two-way street to another. The truck is too long to turn without swinging wide. You should turn like it shows in. Figure C. Figure A. Figure B. Answer. Figure B. Question 21. You should check the height of the trailer before connecting a converter dolly to a second of third trailer. The trailer height is right when. The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. The center of the kingpin lines up with the locking jaws. The kingpin rests on the fifth wheel. Answer. The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. Question 22. You are driving a set of doubles. A set of trailer's wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. You will have a trailer jackknife. The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. Answer. You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 23. You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? None. One half to three fourths inch. It depends on the load. Answer None. Question 24 Which of these is not a good thing to do when driving on slippery roads? Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Keep other traffic out of your side space. Use a light touch on the accelerator and brake pedals. Answer. Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Question 25. You are driving a set of doubles. A set of trailer's wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. You will have a trailer jackknife. Answer You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 26. You are doing a walk-around inspection of a double or triple trailer rig. You should be sure the converter dolly air tank drain valves are. And the pintle hook is. Open, free. Open, latched. Closed, latched. Answer. Closed, latched. Question 27. The best way to stop all skids is to Use stab or controlled braking Restore traction to the tires Counter stare and accelerate
Answer. Restore traction to the tires. Question 28. You are driving a 100-foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 9 11 10 Answer 10 Question 29. Empty trucks are the easiest to stop since there is no shifting cargo. May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Require shorter stopping distances than full ones. Answer May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Question 30. Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. High winds are not a problem for doubles and triples. Answer. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Question 31. You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? None. One half to three fourths inch. It depends on the load. Answer. None. Question 32. Which of these statements about quick steering movements and doubles, triples is true? Counter steering is easier with doubles, triples than with most other vehicles. You should put on the brakes at the same time you perform quick steering movements. Doubles. Triples flip over from quick steering moves more easily than many other vehicles. Answer Doubles, triples flip over from quick steering moves more easily than many other vehicles. Question 33. Before you can supply air to the air tanks of a second trailer, you need to Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Open the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Close the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Answer Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Question 34. What is likely to happen if the pintle hook is unlocked while the dolly is still under the second trailer? The dolly tow bar may fly up. Nothing will happen unless the rig rolls forward. The air lines will rupture. Answer. The dolly tow bar may fly up. Question 35. You want to hook your combination to a second trailer that has no spring brakes. To do this without wheel chocks you should Hook the trailer electric core to a portable generator for braking. Make sure the trailer will roll freely when coupling. Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Answer 
supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Question 36. You are driving with double trailers and must use your brakes to avoid a crash. For emergency braking you should Use control door stab braking Use only the trailer brakes Push the brake pedal as hard as you can and hold it there Answer Use control door stab braking Question 37, with the hand valve on, you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the rig. When you do this, you should hear The emergency line valve open and release air. Air escape from the open valve. The service brakes slowly move to the fully applied position. Answer Air escape from the open valve. Question 38. You are doing a walk around inspection of a double or triple trailer rig. You should be sure the converter dolly air tank drain valves are. And a pintle hook is. Open, latched. Open, free. Closed, latched. Answer Closed, latched Question 39, which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? High winds are not a problem for doubles and triples. Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Answer You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Question 40. Empty trucks Require shorter stopping distances than full ones. Are the easiest to stop since there is no shifting cargo. May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Answer May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Question 41 Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. High winds are not a problem for doubles and triples. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Answer You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Question 42 You want to hook your combination to a second trailer that has no spring brakes. To do this without wheel chocks you should Make sure the trailer will roll freely when coupling. Hook the trailer electric core to a portable generator for braking. Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Answer Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Question 43. If you want to couple a second trailer to your combination vehicle, secure it by using The trailer spring brakes and emergency air brakes Wheel chocks Either of the above, if available Answer Either of the above, if available Question 44. 
Some large trucks have convex or spot mirrors. These mirrors make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Are against the law in most states. Do not need to be checked as often as flat mirrors because they show a larger area. Answer Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Question 45. You wish to turn right from one two lane, two way street to another. The truck is too long to turn without swinging wide. You should turn like it shows in. Figure A. Figure C. Figure B. Answer. Figure B. Question 46. You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? It depends on the load. One half to three fourths inch. None. Answer. None. Question 47. Driving a truck with double or triple trailers requires a driver to Do both of these things. Allow more following distance than for smaller vehicles. Use special care in bad weather and mountain conditions. Answer Do both of these things. Question 48. What is likely to happen if the pintle hook is unlocked while the dolly is still under the second trailer? The airlines will rupture. Nothing will happen unless the rig rolls forward. The dolly tow bar may fly up. Answer. The dolly tow bar may fly up. Question 49. You are driving a set of doubles. A set of trailer's wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? You will have a trailer jackknife. The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. Answer. You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 50. Empty trucks. Are the easiest to stop since there is no shifting cargo. May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Require shorter stopping distances than full ones. Answer. May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Question 51. The best way to stop all skids is to Use stab or controlled braking. Counter stare and accelerate. Restore traction to the tires. Answer. Restore traction to the tires. Question 52. You are doing a walk around inspection of a double or triple trailer rig. You should be sure the converter dolly air tank drain valves are. And the pintle hook is. Open, free. Open, latched. Closed. Latched. Answer. Closed. Latched. Question 53. 
when driving with more than one trailer, which trailer should be the first one behind the tractor? The shortest trailer. The heaviest trailer. The lightest trailer. Answer. The heaviest trailer. Question 54. You are driving with double trailers and must use your brakes to avoid a crash. For emergency braking you should Push the brake pedal as hard as you can and hold it there. Use only the trailer brakes. Use control door stab braking. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 55. You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? One half to three fourths inch. It depends on the load. None. Answer. None. Question 56. Which of these is not a good thing to do when driving on slippery roads? Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Keep other traffic out of your side space. Use a light touch on the accelerator and brake pedals. Answer. Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Question 57. You are driving a 100-foot twin trailer combination at 50 miles per hour. The road is dry and the visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 9 10 11 Answer 11 Question 58. You want to hook your combination to a second trailer that has no spring brakes. To do this without wheel chocks you should Hook the trailer electric core to a portable generator for braking. Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Make sure the trailer will roll freely when coupling. Answer. Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Question 59. You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? One half to three fourths inch. None. It depends on the load. Answer None Question 60. You are driving a set of doubles. A set of trailer's wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? You will have a trailer jackknife. The rick will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. The rick will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. Answer You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 61. Driving a truck with double or triple trailers requires a driver to do both of these things. Allow more following distance than for smaller vehicles. Use special care in bad weather and mountain conditions. Answer Do both of these things. 
Question 62. You should check the height of the trailer before connecting a converter dolly to a second of third trailer. The trailer height is right when The kingpin rests on the fifth wheel. The center of the kingpin lines up with the locking jaws. The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. Answer the trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. Question 63. You are driving a 100-foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 10. 11. 9 Answer 10 Question 64 You wish to turn right from one two lane, two way street to another. The truck is too long to turn without swinging wide. You should turn like it shows in Figure A Figure C. Figure B. Answer. Figure B. Question 65. Before you can supply air to the air tanks of a second trailer, you need to Close the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Open the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Answer Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Question 66. The crack the whip effect that troubles trucks with trailers is most likely to tip over. The rear trailer of a double. A full trailer behind a truck. The rear trailer of a triple. Answer. The rear trailer of a triple. Question 67. You are driving a 100-foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 10. 9. 11. Answer. 10. Question 68. Empty trucks May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Require shorter stopping distances than full ones. Are the easiest to stop since there is no shifting cargo. Answer May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Question 69. You should check the height of the trailer before connecting a converter dolly to a second of third trailer. The trailer height is right when The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. The center of the kingpin lines up with the locking jaws. The kingpin rests on the fifth wheel. Answer. The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. Question 70. You want to hook your combination to a second trailer that has no spring brakes. To do this without wheel chocks you should 
supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Hook the trailer electric core to a portable generator for braking. Make sure the trailer will roll freely when coupling. Answer Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Question 71 you are doing a walk-around inspection of a double or triple trailer rig. You should be sure the converter dolly air tank drain valves are. And a pintle hook is. Open, free. Open, latched. Closed, latched. Answer. Closed, latched. Question 72. What is likely to happen if the pintle hook is unlocked while the dolly is still under the second trailer? The air lines will rupture. Nothing will happen unless the rig rolls forward. The dolly tow bar may fly up. Answer. The dolly tow bar may fly up. Question 73. Which of these statements about quick steering movements and doubles, triples is true? You should put on the brakes at the same time you perform quick steering movements. Doubles, triples flip over from quick steering moves more easily than many other vehicles. Counter steering is easier with doubles, triples than with most other vehicles. Answer. Doubles, triples flip over from quick steering moves more easily than many other vehicles. Question 74. You wish to turn right from one two-lane, two-way street to another. The truck is too long to turn without swinging wide. You should turn like it shows in. Figure A. Figure C. Figure B. Answer. Figure B. Question 75. Which of these is not a good thing to do when driving on slippery roads? Keep other traffic out of your side space. Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Use a light touch on the accelerator and brake pedals. Answer. Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Question 76. If you want to couple a second trailer to your combination vehicle, secure it by using Wheel chocks. The trailer spring brakes and emergency air brakes. Either of the above, if available. Answer. Either of the above, if available. Question 77. Which of these statements about handling bubbles and triples is true? The rear trailer of a 100-foot triple is less likely to turn over than a single semi-trailer due to the crack-through whip. A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped-over rear trailer. A triple bottom rig can stop quicker than a 5-axle tractor semi-trailer due to off-tracking. Answer a sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. Question 78. When driving with more than one trailer, which trailer should be the first one behind the tractor? The shortest trailer. The heaviest trailer. 
the lightest trailer. Answer. The heaviest trailer. Question 79. Which of these is not a good thing to do when driving on slippery roads? Use a light touch on the accelerator and brake pedals. Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Keep other traffic out of your side space. Answer Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Question 80. The best way to stop all skids is to Use stab or controlled braking. Counter stair and accelerate. Restore traction to the tires. Answer. Restore traction to the tires. Question 81. The crack the whip effect that troubles trucks with trailers is most likely to tip over. A full trailer behind a truck. The rear trailer of a triple. The rear trailer of a double. Answer. The rear trailer of a triple. Question 82. Which of these statements about quick steering movements and doubles, triples is true? Counter steering is easier with doubles, triples than with most other vehicles. Doubles, triples flip over from quick steering moves more easily than many other vehicles. You should put on the brakes at the same time you perform quick steering movements. Answer Doubles, triples flip over from quick steering moves more easily than many other vehicles. Question 83. Before you can supply air to the air tanks of a second trailer, you need to Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Close the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Open the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Answer Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Question 84 you are driving with double trailers and must use your brakes to avoid a crash. For emergency braking you should Use only the trailer brakes. Push the brake pedal as hard as you can and hold it there. Use control door stab braking. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 85. You are driving a 100-foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 10 11 9 Answer 10 Question 86. Which of these statements about handling doubles and triples is true? A triple bottom rig can stop quicker than a five-axle tractor semi-trailer due to off-tracking. The rear trailer of a 100-foot triple is less likely to turn over than a single semi-trailer due to the crack through whip. A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped-over rear trailer. Answer A sudden movement with a steering wheel can result in a tipped over rear trailer. 
Question 87, you are doing a walk around inspection of a double or triple trailer rig. You should be sure the converter dolly air tank drain valves are. And the pintle hook is. Open, latched. Closed, latched. Open, free. Answer. Closed, latched. Question 88. You want to hook your combination to a second trailer that has no spring brakes. To do this without wheel chocks you should Make sure the trailer will roll freely when coupling. Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Hook the trailer electric core to a portable generator for braking. Answer. Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Question 89. How can you be sure you supply air to a second trailer? Watch each trailer's air gauge for a drop of 30 pounds per square inch. Apply the hand valve at 10 miles per hour. You should stop in the same distance as a truck with one trailer at 5 miles per hour. Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Answer Go to the rear of the second trailer and open the emergency line shut off. Question 90. You are doing a walk around inspection of a double or triple trailer rig. You should be sure the converter dolly air tank drain valves are. And the pintle hook is. Closed, latched. Open, free. Open, latched. Answer. Closed, latched. Question 91. Empty trucks may have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Require shorter stopping distances than full ones. Are the easiest to stop since there is no shifting cargo. Answer May have poor tractions due to bouncing and wheel lockup. Question 92. You should check the height of the trailer before connecting a converter dolly to a second of third trailer. The trailer height is right when The center of the kingpin lines up with the locking jaws. The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. The kingpin rests on the fifth wheel. Answer. The trailer will be raised slightly when the converter dolly is backed under it. Question 93. When driving with more than one trailer, which trailer should be the first one behind the tractor? The shortest trailer. The heaviest trailer. The lightest trailer. Answer. The heaviest trailer. Question 94. You are driving a 100-foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 9 11 10 Answer. 10. Question 95. Converter dollies. Often do not have spring brakes. Usually need a glad hand converter. 
have little breaking power because they are small. Answer Often do not have spring breaks. Question 96. You are driving with double trailers and must use your brakes to avoid a crash. For emergency braking you should Push the brake pedal as hard as you can and hold it there. Use control door stab braking. Use only the trailer brakes. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 97. Which of these is not a good thing to do when driving on slippery roads? Keep other traffic out of your side space. Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Use a light touch on the accelerator and brake pedals. Answer Use the engine brake or speed retarder. Question 98. The crack the whip effect that troubles trucks with trailers is most likely to tip over. The rear trailer of a double. The rear trailer of a triple. A full trailer behind a truck. Answer. The rear trailer of a triple. Question 99. Before you can supply air to the air tanks of a second trailer, you need to Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Open the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Close the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Answer Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Question 100. You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? None. It depends on the load. One half to three fourths inch. Answer None. Question 101 You are doing a walk around inspection of a double or triple trailer rig. You should be sure the converter dolly air tank drain valves are. And the pintle hook is open, latched. Closed, latched. Open, free. Answer Closed, latched. Question 102. You are driving a 100 foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least Seconds of space ahead of you. 11 10 9 Answer 10 Question 103. You are driving a set of doubles. A set of trailers wheels goes into a skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? You will have a trailer jackknife. The rig will stay in a straight line but slide sideways. The rig will continue to move in a straight line no matter how much the steering wheel is turned. Answer You will have a trailer jackknife. Question 104. Which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? 
high winds are not a problem for doubles and triples. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. Answer You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Question 105 Which of these statements about quick steering movements and doubles, triples is true? Doubles, triples flip over from quick steering moves more easily than many other vehicles. Counter steering is easier with doubles triples than with most other vehicles. You should put on the brakes at the same time you perform quick steering movements. Answer Doubles, triples flip over from quick steering moves more easily than many other vehicles. Question 106 Driving a truck with double or triple trailers requires a driver to Do both of these things Use special care in bad weather and mountain conditions Allow more following distance than for smaller vehicles Answer Do both of these things Question 107. You wish to turn right from one two-lane, two-way street to another. The truck is too long to turn without swinging wide. You should turn like it shows in. Figure C. Figure B. Figure A. Answer. Figure B. Question 108. What is likely to happen if the pintle hook is unlocked while the dolly is still under the second trailer? The dolly tow bar may fly up. The air lines will rupture. Nothing will happen unless the rig rolls forward. Answer. The dolly tow bar may fly up. Question 109. When driving with more than one trailer, which trailer should be the first one behind the tractor? The heaviest trailer. The shortest trailer. The lightest trailer. Answer. The heaviest trailer. Question 110. You want to hook your combination to a second trailer that has no spring brakes. To do this without wheel chocks you should Hook the trailer electric core to a portable generator for braking. Make sure the trailer will roll freely when coupling. Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Answer Supply air to the trailer air system with a tractor and then disconnect the emergency line. Question 111 You are driving with double trailers and must use your brakes to avoid a crash. For emergency braking you should Push the brake pedal as hard as you can and hold it there. Use control door stab braking. Use only the trailer brakes. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 112 Before you can supply air to the air tanks of a second trailer, you need to Open the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Close the shut-off valves at the rear of both trailers. Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, 
and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Answer Open the shut-off valves at the rear of the first trailer, and close the shut-off valves at the rear of the second trailer. Question 113. You are doing a walk-around inspection of a double or triple trailer rig. You should be sure the converter dolly air tank drain valves are. And the pintle hook is. Open, latched. Open, free. Closed, latched. Answer. Closed, latched. Question 114. You are driving a 100-foot twin-trailer combination at 50 miles per hour. The road is dry and the visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 9 11 10 Answer 11 Question 115. You are visually checking the coupling of a converter dolly to the rear trailer. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel? One half to three fourths inch. It depends on the load. None. Answer. None. Question 116. If you want to couple a second trailer to your combination vehicle, secure it by using The trailer spring brakes and emergency air brakes Wheel chocks Either of the above, if available Answer Either of the above, if available Question 117. The best way to stop all skids is to Use stab or controlled braking Counter stare and accelerate Restore traction to the tires Answer Restore traction to the tires Question 118. Driving a truck with double or triple trailers requires a driver to Use special care in bad weather and mountain conditions. Do both of these things. Allow more following distance than for smaller vehicles. Answer Do both of these things. Question 119. You are driving a 100-foot truck with double trailers at 30 miles per hour. The road is dry. Visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 10 11 9 Answer 10 Question 120. You are doing a walk-around inspection of a double or triple trailer rig. You should be sure the converter dolly air tank drain valves are. And the pintle hook is. Open, latched. Open, free. Closed, latched. Answer. Closed, latched. Question 121, with the hand valve on, you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the rig. When you do this, you should hear The emergency line valve open and release air. 
the service brakes slowly move to the fully applied position. Air escape from the open valve. Answer. Air escape from the open valve. Question 122. The best way to stop all skids is to Use stab or controlled braking Restore traction to the tires Counter stare and accelerate Answer Restore traction to the tires Question 123 which of these statements about managing space to the sides is true? Always keep your vehicle to the right side of your lane. High winds are not a problem for doubles and triples. You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Answer You should avoid traveling next to others when possible. Question 124. You are driving with double trailers and must use your brakes to avoid a crash. For emergency braking you should Use only the trailer brakes. Use control door stab braking. Push the brake pedal as hard as you can and hold it there. Answer. Use control door stab braking. Question 125. The best way to stop all skids is to Use stab or controlled braking Counter stare and accelerate Restore traction to the tires Answer Restore traction to the tires Question 126. You are driving with double trailers and must use your brakes to avoid a crash. For emergency braking you should Push the brake pedal as hard as you can and hold it there. Use only the trailer brakes. Use control door stab braking. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 127. What is likely to happen if the pintle hook is unlocked while the dolly is still under the second trailer? Nothing will happen unless the rig rolls forward. The air lines will rupture. The dolly tow bar may fly up. Answer. The dolly tow bar may fly up. Question 128. You are driving a 100-foot twin trailer combination at 50 miles per hour. The road is dry and the visibility is good. You should keep at least seconds of space ahead of you. 9 11 10 Answer 11 Question 129. Some large trucks have convex or spot mirrors. These mirrors are against the law in most states. Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Do not need to be checked as often as flat mirrors because they show a larger area. Answer. Make things look smaller and farther away than they really are. Question 130. You are doing a walk around inspection of a double or triple trailer rig. You should be sure the converter dolly air tank drain valves are 
and a pintle hook is closed, latched, open, free, open, latched. Answer Closed, latched. Question 131 With the hand valve on, you should test the trailer brakes by opening the service line valve at the rear of the rig. When you do this, you should hear Air escape from the open valve. The service brakes slowly move to the fully applied position. The emergency line valve open and release air. Answer Air escape from the open valve. Question 132 You wish to turn right from one two lane, two way street to another. The truck is too long to turn without swinging wide. You should turn like it shows in. Figure C Figure B Figure A Answer Figure B Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.